David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a pen from a brand that I had yet to review, and that is Paniter. And the pen that I'll be showing you today is the Avatar. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the Paniter Avatar. I'll talk about what I care for and what I don't care for. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. And then stay tuned to learn how you can win this very pen, courtesy the good folks over at Goulet Pens who have provided this pen for review and to give away to one of you. Uh, the history of the Paniter brand dates back almost 250 years. Uh, it was founded by a gentleman by the name of Francisco Paniter, who opened a stationery store in Florence back in 1774. Uh, the company's been producing fountain pens since the late 1800s, but in modern days, uh, the pen side of their business has a, had a rather low profile, at least here in the United States. That changed recently for a couple of different reasons. The owners committed to uh, investments to revitalize the brand, and in doing so, they brought in the former CEO and founder of Visconti, Dante Del Vecchio. Uh, Dante had recently had a rather contentious separation from Visconti and jumped at the chance to have full autonomy in the revitalization of the Paniter brand. Uh, the pen arrives in this box, nice green box. On the front is the Paniter logo. Then inside we have a use and care guide as well as some information on the new manufacturing techniques used to make this pen. And here we have the pen. Uh, above it, in Italian, it translates in English to say, for those who write the future. And then here we have the Paniter avatar. Now, this is one of the 2019 avatar models. Uh, we'll talk price later, but the price of the 2019 models is uh, less than the models that launched back in 2017. Uh, the pen is available in a variety of colors, and this one is called Abalone Green. Uh, I do find it to be kind of more of a blue-green that's more blue than green. Avatar is the name of the highest grossing motion picture of all time, uh, and this is not a coincidence. Uh, associating pens with movies is something that Paniter intends to continue. Uh, they have another model, which I will review in the somewhat near future, called uh, La Grande Bellezza, which is also named after a film. Uh, Dante has said that he'd like to give his pens meaningful names and ones that tell stories. Uh, we'll see if this happens, but I was reading in an interview that Dante has plans to release a line of pens named after the Back to the Future movies. Now, that doesn't mean that they'll be Back to the Future themed, though a DeLorean time machine pen would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe that is a project for Montegrappa, some over-the-top $10,000 model with uh, like an operational Mr. Fusion on the side of it. Uh, that would actually be kind of cool. Uh, Avatar, the Avatar is made from a new resin formula called Ultra Resin. Um, it's a special formula of mother of pearl compound resin. It's very stiff and extremely durable. Uh, this resin does have some very nice coloration. Uh, there are some nice swirls and waves of several different shades of blues and greens. I think it looks really nice. Uh, Brian Goulet has a video where he sits down with Dante Del Vecchio and demonstrates the durability of this material by pounding on it with a hammer. Uh, in this interview, Dante also demonstrates another new technology developed for this pen. Uh, they call it glueless technology. Uh, for the Avatar, Paniter developed a new assembly process where the pen is assembled without any glue or adhesive at all. Uh, it's actually interesting to see Dante assemble the parts of the pen into a functioning writing instrument. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. The end is rounded and bisected by the clip, which wraps around the top. Uh, the clip itself is in the shape of a quill, and it's hinged, which I like. Um, but there is something I could do without, which is this little pen right here near the top of the cap. Um, this is part of the hinge mechanism for the clip. It's basically what's holding the clip onto the cap. So I understand why it's there, but I just don't feel it's especially aesthetically pleasing. 
Uh, on a positive note there, I will say that uh, while this clip is hinged, uh, it's not like the clip on a Visconti where you needed to physically pinch it in order for it to function. There is a little flare at the tip, what makes it easy, uh, easy to use in materials of varying sizes. And this spring isn't overly strong, uh, so the clip is very easy to operate. The cap is straight, and it transitions into a wide platinum plated cap band. On it, it says Paniter, and surrounding the name is the skyline of Florence, uh, including the Duomo, uh, as well, also as well as the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, whose arches served as the inspirations for Visconti's clips. Uh, there is a short but rather sharp step down to the barrel, which tapers down at an even angle until you get to the end of the pen, which is rounded and has a piece of palladium plated metal. This metal piece is one of the additions to the 2019 model of the Avatar. Uh, it serves to add a little bit more weight to the back of the barrel to balance it out a little bit. The cap is magnetic. And while the magnet doesn't necessarily feel overly strong, um, I haven't experienced any issues with the cap inadvertently coming off or dislodging while I was using this pen. So I guess it's as strong as it needs to be. Um, underneath, we have this number six sized rhodium plated nib. Uh, I like the size of this nib. I feel the number six is appropriate from this pen and I really like the stamped design. I think it looks like a, a little bit art deco. Uh, there are currently only two nib options with this pen, and those are fine and medium. Uh, and then here's a look at the plastic feed. This section is palladium plated. Um, while I typically don't care for slick metal sections, um, I don't find this one to be too bad for my grip. Uh, I've said it many times before, but I have a tendency to grip my pens toward the end of the section. And this section has a rather a large enough flare here on the end to keep my grip from slipping any further. Uh, if you personally grip your pen a little further back on the section, uh, the steeper angle of the section might cause some challenges. Um, there is a rather a steep step up to the barrel, but it isn't sharp, where you have this metal ring, which is part of the capping mechanism. Uh, I do like that the magnet is at the beginning of the cap, which will help reduce the risk of rusting due to the increased humidity inside of the cap. Now, something I have noticed about this cap, uh, inside there is a thin metal lock ring that holds the magnet in place. Uh, the edges of this are rather sharp. I found that as I've used this pen, there are a few scratches that have appeared on the section and some scuffs to the barrel from posting. Uh, over time, I'm fearful that more scratches will occur, and it's frustrating when you uh, scratch your pen on your own, but it's a bit more frustrating when the scratches are more self-inflicted. Um, I hope the design of that piece is something that Paniter considers improving, but after doing some research, uh, there were a lot of users experiencing this very same issue with, an er with the earlier 2017 model of this pen, so it is a little disappointing that this issue wasn't addressed in the 2019 remodel. Um, the cap does post, and it does post securely, um, though I do find the edge of the cap band to be a bit sharp, uh, especially when it rubs against my hand like this, so I prefer to use this pen unposted. And it's plenty long enough for me, and I find that it's very comfortable in my hand. Now, this is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, that, that it accepts standard international short or long cartridges and a Paniter branded converter is provided. Uh, there are a number of metal interior parts on this pen, so eye dropping it would not be advisable. The Paniter Avatar retails at Goulet Pens for $126. And I feel that that is a, a fair value for what you receive with this pen. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like about it. Um, I love the coloring of the resin. Uh, I really like the clip. And I think the band is pretty cool as well. And as you'll see in the writing sample, this medium steel nib is fantastic. Uh, the only significant downside for me would be that metal ring, which um, even when you're careful can lead to some scratches and scuffs. But overall, the pen performs very well. And I would encourage you to check this pen out on the Goulet site. Uh, there'll be a link to do so in the notes below. 
Uh, thanks again. Go out to Goulet Pens for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, you can enter in a couple of different ways. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, where I'm at figboot11, and you can like my recent post featuring this pen, uh, or you can also be a subscriber to this YouTube channel and leave a comment on this very video. Um, both will count as an entry, so if you do both, then you can double your chances to win this pen. Uh, in regard to a topic for the YouTube comment, uh, as I mentioned, Dante had said that future Paniner models would be named after movies. Uh, what movies would you like to see a pen named after? Uh, the comment topic is not required, it is just a suggestion. So now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Paniter Avatar. Uh, here it is with the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, then here it is with a Platinum 3776 Chartres Blue. Uh, and then here it is with a Pilot Vanishing Point. This is one of the Raiden Vanishing Points. In regard to some other pens, uh, here it is with a Visconti Rembrandt, which is somewhat similar to the Paniter Avatar. Uh, here it is with a Sailor Pro Gear. Uh, and then finally, here it is with another Paniter pen. This one is called La Grande Bellezza. Uh, and this is a, a real nice pen that I'm going to be reviewing here in the somewhat near future. It's a little bit larger, uh, and it does have a... Uh, uh, a, a lot of things that are slightly different than the Avatar, but this is what it looks like in comparison to all of those. So, here we go with the writing sample for the Paniter Avatar. This is a medium steel nib. And the ink that I'm using today is Colorverse Hustle. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. Uh, this is an ink that's exclusive to Goulet pens. Uh, it actually uh, comes in a set. There is this Hustle here, which is this smaller ink, a uh, smaller bottle. And I thought that the color matched nice with the color of this pen. And then it also comes with this other darker blue, kind of a Goulet blue, called Passion. So you get both in that same set. And like I said, they're exclusive to Goulet. Uh, and in regard to some other color comparisons, this is what that color looks like in regard to a Roaring Klingner Smargrun, uh, as well as something like the Diatramenta sandalwood. It's similar to those colors, kind of a blue-greeny with a little more green than blue. And in regard to the rest of the writing sample, That little hard start was not the pen, that was me. That was the angle that I had it at, and that's why it, it had a little bit of a hard start. Um, I, I do enjoy this steel nib very much. Uh, that I think that the ink flow on it is fantastic. You can get a little bit of line variation out of here. Uh, and that the ink flow has never been an issue for me with this pen in all of my time using it. Uh, in regard to some reverse writing, It is a little bit scratchy on the reverse writing. And in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue whatsoever. So there we have the Paniter Avatar. Um, I really enjoy this pen. Uh, and I think especially for the price point of this pen that it is a, a decent value. So it's definitely something you should check out. Good luck to everyone in potentially winning this one. But if you don't win it, then I would highly recommend checking one out, especially on the Goulet pen site. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.